Hi, it's Rob again from thefinishedbasement.net. We're in a finished basement we recently completed here in Plymouth, and we'd like to show you some of the features of this basement. We have a custom-built entertainment center here. Um, what's uh, unique about this one, and this is the way we do all of them in the houses here on the South Shore, is we build it around the size of the television and the components that the homeowner is interested in obtaining. So, this is designed to fit perfectly around the television that the homeowner selected. Okay? We do these in about 70% uh, of the basements we finish here south of Boston. Uh, this basement that we recently completed actually has a working fireplace, a wood-burning fireplace, uh, that was down here not being used. Uh, it does work. Uh, we finished the, the tiled off the hearth here, and this is a feature that uh, the homeowners really wanted to take advantage of and incorporate it into the cozy seating area uh, around uh, the television. This is primarily a kid's space down here. Here we have uh, a half wall opening uh, that was intentionally designed by virtue of the fact that we had one column in this location and another column offset about 18 inches and as a way to sort of incorporate those, those necessary components structurally to the basement, we did a half wall here and, and we're able to keep the, uh, the majority of the room open. We also uh, removed a column that allowed a span of about 17 feet to really open up the space. So the main area of this room uh, is about 17 by 24 with another room down here of about 16 by 14. And it's all open. Uh, which is an important feature that the homeowners wanted to make sure happen, and we were able to accomplish that for them. A feature we'd like to point out to you here um, in the home in Plymouth is this home had no bulkhead. It had no second means of egress, which is, of course is a necessary safety precaution and a requirement by Massachusetts Code. So on this particular job, we, we cut out of the foundation um, uh, an exit um, where if there was an emergency, people would be able to get out through this window, which slides open, the screen is easily removed, and the kids go right up the ladder. It allows an enormous amount of fresh air and light into a basement, and the homeowners were really pleased with the solution. It was significantly less expensive than a traditional bulkhead or even a doghouse dormer bulkhead. What we decided to do here is to give a, a step up and out by incorporating some built-ins and a window seat here next to the window. And the same way we designed the built-ins around the television, we designed these built-ins around the size of the baskets that the homeowners were able to procure. So it's fairly typical in finishing a basement that we would work very closely with the homeowners to give them exactly what they want in such a way that they can maximize their budget. Here we are at the entry point uh, the corridor to the open space and what we did here is we took a we took a lemon uh, that is the layout uh, of the basement and we turned it into some lemonade here I'd really like to show you this I think you're gonna like it we have since we have the main utility space behind this bank of closets we weren't able to make the the main play area immediately adjacent to coming downstairs so what we decided to do since having uh, storage space is essential to any finished basement. We made a bank of closets and the, the first one here, we're going to show you these closets in detail for a moment, but I wanted to give you an overview of this space and show you one other feature I think you're going to like. The railing here, the newel post and the railing and baluster, the newel post, the railing, and baluster here, the entire unit is custom made and can be removed. This allows furniture to be moved in easier, and we've already removed this and put this back twice for the homeowner so they can get furniture in and out. And this is the type of custom detail you're going to get with the finishedbasement.net. We're going to take you through a tour of the closet space. Okay? This closet right here, the closest uh, to the play area, is for games and puzzles and all of the shelves are removable and uh, uh, in this case the homeowners actually removed two of the lower shelves for what they want to have stored down there 
the next three closets are all cedar lined and this one was intentionally designed to be uh, storage for off-season clothing. You can see the, uh, uh, the receptacle here for the clothing rod, but the homeowners in the meantime have decided to use it more for, uh, uh, for the uh, excess uh, uh, Christmas wrapping materials and also for luggage. These next two closets have an interesting feature as well. They were intentionally designed, just as the built-ins were designed around the size of the television uh, for the entertainment center, and as the window seat was designed to fit around baskets that the homeowner had acquired, this closet space is designed for each shelf to accept three of these plastic bins. So each one of these shelves can hold three. Um, and there we've maximized storage again. The fourth closet, same way. In the uh, storage area, we also have uh, two sizable unfinished areas. One of them is a utility area. Uh, the other one is strictly for storage. Uh, and we, uh, we built uh, a number of, uh, number of shelves for, uh, for the homeowners in those areas as well. Why don't you come on here, I'll show you um, how we've maximized space and utility again in this basement. Uh, this is an office. And this was carved out of what normally would have been utility space. Uh, the reason we use the French doors here is that there's a uh, there's a window up top and homeowners wanted to have natural light coming through into the hallway. Um, the desk is actually quite sizable. The desk is actually over 12 feet long and uh, one of the things that we've done here is this is where the electrical panel is hidden, the, for, the Verizon Fios and the electrical panel and this is a cabinet door uh, that we custom made and built out around it to hide the electrical panel. So this is a, a viable office uh, it allows for natural light in, and it allows for the dad to be able to be down here with the kids, but have a little bit of space of his own as well. This basement was about 850 square feet. As you can see, it offers versatility, size, plenty of storage, and this is absolutely an extension of the home upstairs. The homeowners use this space all the time, and they're very happy. So thanks for coming to, to see our video today. Uh, if you'd like to uh, have us come in and give you a free estimate, a free in-home consultation, just go ahead and contact us. We can contact you through email. Uh, but thank you for stopping by the finishbasement.net.